There are over 10,000 species of fern in the world, and we're going to take a look at a few of them now. The first one I wanted to show you is the bird nest fern with its great big lush leaves. It doesn't look like your typical picture of a fern, but it is indeed. And one way to identify a fern is by their crown, which is the place that fronds grow out of, and their fiddleheads. And this bird nest fern certainly qualifies. As you can see right there in the very center, that's its crown. And just starting to unfurl are its new fronds, or in other words, fiddleheads. This particular bird nest is especially striking. Bird nest ferns are really about the easiest fern to grow. All you have to do is water them when the top feels dry, and then give them a good soak, and put them in some bright indirect light or some morning sun and they'll do just fine for you. And if this particular bird nest fern doesn't quite strike your fancy, I have another one here. It's a hybrid of the bird nest fern and it's called the Japanese bird nest fern and I'll show it to you. Here we go. This one too is very lovely. It has a little bit more of a wavy leaf to it. It's a little more compact, but it's certainly quite stunning and just as easy to take care of as the other bird nest fern. So maybe something like this would suit you in your home. These are terrace ferns. Terrace ferns get their name from the Greek word pteron, which means wing. And here they are. This one's Terrace critica and Terrace Victoria, and this is Terrace Albolineata. They're really cute ferns, and you see these quite often in the stores. They're very readily available, and they stay fairly small too. You rarely will see them over about a foot tall, and they shouldn't give you too much trouble. They're one of the easier ferns to keep. Just water them when their top is dry, as soon as the top of the soil feels dry. Give them a good soak. So if you get one in a pot, say this size, you may need to water it two or three times a week. So they do, do need a little bit of extra attention. And the other thing you want to remember with ferns is to give them a good misting. And these guys really love it. I have another small fern here too. You often see it in the stores grouped with the terrace ferns, but it's a little bit different. And this one's called the maidenhair fern. Now this is probably the most difficult fern that you can grow. If you're a, a little bit skeptical about your growing capabilities, don't try maidenhair fern. Now they need to stay very moist. You only want to let the top dry out a little bit and then give them a good soak. And they're very fussy about humidity. A great place to grow one of them would be in a terrarium. But if you want to grow them on a shelf in your house, for example, then be sure to put them on a pebble tray like we looked at earlier. And always keep the, the uh, pebbles moist so that it can get lots and lots of humidity. But these are really cute ferns I know you would enjoy in your home. And I have just a couple more ferns to show you. I was so inspired when I was at the fern house at the Botanic Garden that I just had to show you several of them today. And this is my very own Boston fern. Now you're probably familiar with this one. It's a very popular variety and it's lived in people's homes since Victorian times. It's also one of the easiest ferns to grow. Just water it when the top feels dry and give it some nice bright light and it can take some full morning sun without any trouble at all. The one thing about Boston's is you do need to groom them from time to time. I've seen some people with their Boston ferns thinking that they weren't doing very well because they had a lot of dead growth underneath. Well, they tend to do that a lot anyway. You just need to clean them out every once in a while and they'll do just fine. And I also have a hybrid of the Boston with me that's grown really well in my house. And it's over here. It's called Nephrolepis Kimberly Queen. And it's a little bit more like the sword fern. But it's a, really, it's a new variety on the market. It has really thin, narrow 
fronds on it, but I think it's quite unique. Ferns are so wonderful. They're just graceful, lacy, and plants that are really soothing to have around. So I hope if you've never tried to grow one, that you will. Just remember that you want to keep on misting them. Give them that humidity. <laughs>